Hi, it's Tara. Right now, I would just like to talk a little bit about behavior, uh, especially struggling behavior, bad behavior, poor behavior, whatever you want to call it. One thing that I would like you to keep in mind when you're dealing with anybody is that a person's behavior is a reflection of how they are at that moment. So for example, if somebody is being very mean or aggressive or hurtful, it's a reflection of how they are feeling inside. They are feeling pain and struggle and hurt. That helps me when I'm dealing with my children when they are just not very pleasant to be around. I know they are really hurting inside. Um, one day one of my children had said some things to me that I, he was really trying to hurt my feelings. and. Um, his kid, I wasn't going to take it personally, I wasn't going to explode at him, and oh, how dare you say those things to me, I mean, on one hand, I was just kind of thinking, like, really, dude, like, that's pretty silly, I haven't really done anything to uh, deserve this kind of treatment, but instead of saying all those things, I just looked at him, and I said, wow, your heart must feel really hurt right now, because you're a really sweet kid, and you must be really upset about something to say those things. That must really be hurting your heart. And of course, at first, he denied. He furrowed his brow. No. I'm just mad at you. And I said, you know, I'm really sorry you're feeling that way. I'm just, I love you no matter what. When, when you want to talk to me about it, I'll, I'll listen. Um, but I really, I really just think your heart is really hurting right now. And he just sat there for a moment and kind of hid under the table. I gave him about five or ten seconds and I came around and I said, hey, do you want a hug? And he came to me and he hugged me and he apologized. And then he told me what was bothering him. So it doesn't work that perfectly every time. But it is so much more helpful to empathize and reflect back than for me to just get mad and react to his behavior. Now, as a parent, it's normal. I know sometimes we're going to react. We're going to be in a situation where we just can't calmly respond to our children. That's something we really need to keep in mind about what we expect from our children. If there are times that we as adults cannot handle the stress and we say things or snap at them or yell at them, how can we expect them to never do that back to us? Fortunately, it's a normal thing. Some kids don't do it, some parents don't do it, but most of us have a limit that we hit and then we snap, whether we yell or we storm off or we realize, hey, I'm getting really stressed, I'm going to say something I re will regret later if I don't calm down. We as adults are working on that. I know we're, many of us are working on it because I see it, I see it on Facebook, I see it in you know, daily life that some days we handle it better than others, some situations we handle better than others, sometimes in public we behave differently than at home, kids are the same way. They're going to behave worse at home most of the time. It is just a reflection of the stress they are under at that time. So when your kids are yelling at you or if they're really having a bad moment, just try to remember that it is a reflection of how hurt or frustrated they are in that moment. And I know when I'm hurt and frustrated, I really don't want somebody yelling at me about being hurt and frustrated. I would much rather have somebody just say, wow, do you, is there anything I can do for you? You're really upset. Can I get you a drink? Can I give you a hug? Can I give you some space? You know, what can I do to help you calm down? That's what our kids need. That is really what they need. And I know not every child is easy. <laughs> Most children are not easy. And I know that there are varying degrees of difficulty. I know there are children that really, really struggle. Um, most of the time, those children, you know, probably have things going on medically or uh, emotionally, you know, whether it's ADHD, ADD, ODD, anxiety, sensory integration issues. 
there's a lot of stuff. We have to respect that and understand they want to be happy. They want to do good. They want to make good choices. They want to have a happy home life. Even those teenagers that are always grouchy or that always snap at you or that are not grateful or not appreciative, they want to have a happy home life with you too. So it can be a great place to start to try to remember when their behavior is bad, they're feeling bad and they're hurting. That's when they need you the most. That's when they need your compassion. That's when they need your quiet calm. Not easy, but we can all get there together. I'll put some resources in the about section for places that I've gone to for help and for encouragement. And I just want to share that with you today. So I hope you have a good day and I'll see you next time. Bye.